We are back on Kababayan today. I'm talking to one of the first Filipino-American producers, and a woman at that, who was working here in Hollywood way, way back. And she's here to talk to us about how it was like growing up being Filipina here in America. So, Sheila, uh, you've had such an amazing journey, uh, especially with your career in Hollywood, um, and now you're a mom. I'm so, a mom. so congratulations! <laughs> it's a very uh, challenging role, as you know, but quite fulfilling. Mm -hmm. um, but let's let's talk about growing up Filipino because I know here in America it was this time where we weren't encouraged to speak Tagalog so on and so, so forth, but times have changed. And now that you have a son, how are you passing along that Filipino culture? I hope that I'll be able to bring him and show him, because I think that that's the main thing. He's still really little, mm -hmm. but I'm fortunate to say my parents are retired, mm -hmm. and they live in the United States. They're not in the Philippines. Most, you know, parents at this time will say, I want to go back and forth mm -hmm. or live there. I'm very grateful. I have a mother and father who now are able to really enjoy it. When I was growing up, my parents really sacrificed. They, didn't, they worked so hard. They came mm -hmm. in this country with a dialect, you know, so my father could have stories of like how not treated well because of who he was, being Filipino, or no one understanding what Filipino is. Right. Filipino is such a mixture of things that no one, they look at us, oh, they're Chinese, you're Korean, you're Vietnamese, you know, there's no identity. And I think our true identity is that we're mixed mm -hmm. and that we can go into any country because every country, I've traveled all over the world. That's right. There's really not one place where I've not found a Filipino. I've been to Austria, I've been to the Czech Republic, and I will always find a Filipino. Mm -hmm. So my greatest thing to say when I look at my son, because my, my son is half, you know, Caucasian. So I look at him and I think, you are the perfect blend of what a Filipino American is today. Mm -hmm. Because of the fact, Filipinos in our, we should be proud of it. The fact that we can integrate we go into, we can live in any country, we blend, we have different looks. Mm -hmm. We no, assimilate exactly, really well, Very right? quickly, and it's because we have this personality of family, and we have this personality of hospitality, and being open, and you know, we're open to being all these different things. And I think that's like, that's what I'm proud of. I don't know anything more of being like a conservative Filipino or, or this kind of Filipino. All I know from being an American Filipino is that Traveling there, meeting friends like you, having great friends that, you know, through the years that have been Filipino. So I'm really excited to say they're such, they're so different, they're so varying, and I love that. You're, you're very, I mean, it seems like your experience was very positive. Very. But, but let's talk also about the stark realities that you were faced with going back to the Philippines. You're used to working here in Hollywood. Yeah. Things are structured. It's I mean, very, very structured. structured, right? Um, and then going there, how was that like shooting there? You know, the government, everything was wonderful, getting in, doing everything. Where I kind of ran into roadblocks was, I know everyone is was so gracious and they, they want to help, but there was so many things scheduled. All of a sudden, we had all of these other things scheduled, and I'm trying to shoot a show, and I only have limited time to be out there, and it felt like a lot of interference from so many, you know, from one of the networks or for one of the things that was going on. There were always sort of an interference. Mm. And I think because maybe it's an island thing, because, you know, it's kind of like, oh, okay, but you guys have time. Oh, oh, but okay, let no me focus now. No problem. No problem. Exactly. Know? And being American, you know, I I'm this. Yeah. <laughs> it's very like this because we have a production, we've got the budget, we've got everything going, and I, I, I got to move on to the next thing. I got to shoot my thing. I can't have dinner. I'm so sorry. And I don't like. I think my fear. The thing was, my fear was, is I was hurting a lot of people's feelings and not intentionally. But I realized too, like I said, it's a Filipino mm -hmm. um, characteristic. 
offer hospitality, to please come to my home, please eat. Yes. I don't know, you know, we're not used so, to that. Yeah, we're rushing. So basically, <laughs> everyone was kind of pulling you in all sorts in, of directions, yes, right? Yes. Because they want to get to know this Hollywood producer. Who's this Pinay who's yeah. shooting E! Entertainment show? Oh my gosh, you know, it's a big deal. It's, it's a big deal and it's a lot, and I understand. But it's also, it was very hectic and hard to work around. Yeah. Because you want to, you know, and I think you, need, you and I even had conversations of it when I was there mm -hmm. years ago saying, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a little and, crazy. And you had to explain it's kind of how it ran. That's yeah, how it, it's, it went. it's politics. Yeah. Let, let's call a spade a spade. Yeah. Even in the entertainment industry, yeah. uh, in Manila, there's a lot of politics, right? Yeah. When we return, however, we're going to get to meet Sheila's parents here on Kababayan Today. We'll be right back.